Don, since the World 2020, you've got out of the squad, you've got Cameron White, David Hussey, Dan Christian, Clint McKay. Where are they at the moment, and particularly Dan Christian, because he's now out of both limited overs teams? Yeah, well, look, what we've done is we've selected what we think is the best side at the moment, and we've taken great note of the uh, form in the Big Bash League. So the 12 that we've selected uh, are very much the form players of the Big Bash League. Of course, David Warner's there. You know, he's a wonderful T20 cricketer and he didn't play uh, Big Bash League or certainly not much of it. Uh, but we've just picked the best squad uh, that we can. We've got a, a view to the 2014 World Cup in that. Clint Mackay is getting a lot of cricket at the moment. And as you know, he's had some hamstring problems. So we're just, you know, we're... Uh, and we've, we've, not, we've not included him. Um, and David Hussey, well, it was David Hussey or Glenn Maxwell, and we've gone for Glenn Maxwell. And I think some other younger players have perform, performed better than uh, Cameron White. Yeah. And with Sean Marsh being back, how have you yeah. seen his comeback in the quarter of the past six weeks? And also, is there any thought for maybe coming to the next one day is that you want him playing Shield instead because of the possibility well, of look, we'll, a late we'll, bash With bolt? Sean, we'll just take one step at a time. Um, his form in the Big Bash League has been absolutely compelling. Uh, he's batted brilliantly and we all know how well he can play when he's in a good space and he seems to be in a very good space at the moment but we'll just take that one step at a time. But he was towards the top of our list. I mean, he made more runs than anybody in the Big Bash League and played brilliantly on many occasions, as did Aaron Finch. John, just on, you say, picking the best team, Luke Pommers back has been in some pretty good form in yeah. the Big Bash. Was there a thought, perhaps, that he still needs to do a bit more to redeem himself for past indiscretions, or was it just that Dave Warner's no, ahead I of him? No, I wouldn't say with past indiscretions, but probably play, play well over a longer period. I mean, it, the batting positions were pretty tight, and Ben Rohrer and Luke Pommers bash both received very strong consideration, uh, but we just went the way we did. Um, Adam Voges' form, as you would have seen, has been stunning in the way that he's finished games. Um, and and he, I mean, he's got a very good sustained all-round record and we hope that Luke Pommersback can really build on what he's done recently. John, could you speak a little bit more about Sean Marsh? I mean, sure. it, you know, he was brilliant, he was nowhere, yeah. he had his trouble and he too yeah. sort of come back pretty quickly here. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we've kept um, a pretty close eye on Sean and he's in a very good place at the moment. And as I said before, he's, his batting has just been wonderful. Mm. And we hope that this is a stepping stone uh, for other forms. Um, we don't know. We'll just wait and see. But he's certainly got an opportunity and this, deserved the opportunity. And is this in your way? I'm, you probably don't want to talk about this, yeah. but is it in some way, you know, absolving him of what happened in South Africa? Well, I mean, we, we've looked at the whole picture and we thought he was absolutely deserving of a place and we've selected him for that reason. And he's stuff. Well, I, I mean, history is history, but I think by our actions we've, we've, stated, we've given a pretty clear signal. Just how confident are you in this side that you selected that it will be so successful? Well, we're very confident that that's the best side we could select for the two forthcoming games on the 26th and 28th. We think that's the best side we could select to uh, represent Australia. And there's a lot of very exciting cricketers there who've done very well with their T20 skills. James Fortin has been chosen as the bowling, the pace bowling all-rounder. Is that a sign that... Um, national selections ahead of him in other formats as well? Well, I mean, James Faulkner played, has played T20 cricket for Australia um, before and last year he played one game and he's a very good young cricketer. I think he's still only 21 years of age. So he's a, he's a bowling all-rounder who we really hope develops. He, he deserved his opportunity here and we hope he uses that opportunity and develops further in all forms. John, how would you assess Brad Hogg's form in the Big Bash and is the door he, now closed on him? Yeah, look, I would say the door is closed and when we selected uh, uh, Brad for the uh, 2012 World Cup, T20 World Cup, we told him then quite clearly that that was, a, that, that was going to be the end for him. But I saw him bowl the other night and he bowled brilliantly again. John, just with Hussey and Maxwell, you say that Hussey's yeah. uh, gone at the, for Maxwell. Uh, yeah. is, is that 
Has Huss been penalised perhaps for his, his form in the one days to date, whereas Maxwell hasn't had a go in the one days? No, look, we, um, as you know, it was a toss up in uh, September at the World Cup, uh, and Glenn was preferred to David uh, in all games but the semi final at the end. Um, but but we're, we're going with Glenn Maxwell. We've, I mean, that was discussed, and we've preferred uh, Glenn to David in this situation. Is that well, I mean, when it's very close, we'll always go for the younger player. So when it's touch and go, we'll always go for the younger player. Uh, which sort of is half what I was going to ask yeah. you. Um, Brad Hodge was fantastic. Dirk Nannis is fantastic. Are they yeah. in the same category yeah. as Hoggy? Yeah, look, essentially, yes. Yeah. yeah. Finish never to be considered? Um, very unlikely to be considered. Unlikely. Well, I'd never say never, but, but unlikely. And we think with, uh, I mean, cutting has been doing very well recently uh, in all forms of cricket, so he deserves the opportunity. And Lachlan has bowled very cleverly and, you know, he took more wickets than anybody else. How are things shaping up for, for India and the, the Test Tour and how much Shield cricket can you have a look at before you look at naming a Test squad? I think there's a round of Shield cricket starting on Thursday. Yes. Um, we had a meeting on Saturday and... Um, all members of the National Selection Panel were there. So we discussed all formats and including Australia A for the games against the, the Lions in, in uh, February. Um, we're well advanced on our thoughts for India. Uh, it's not totally finalised, but we're very well down the way. And I'll say no further on that at this stage. I think the team's going to be announced late, late this month. Does the vice captain's declaration that he just wants to bat at the moment and also wants to return as an omen, does that have any bearing at all on whether Ed Cowan tours or not? Uh, not really, no, no. We will consider all players on their merits um, and in a dispassionate way. And I, don't, I don't think Tassie's scheduled to play another Shield game before the squad's announced. Is that right? Uh, that's correct. I think they play their next Shield match on the fourth, beginning on the 4th or the 6th of February. And the team will be announced before that. Does that hinder Ed's chances of keeping his I don't think so, no. No, no. No, no. No. Is there any more questions? Sorry. Yeah. On, uh, on Shane Watson, the fact that he says he wants to be an opener, do you disregard that and basically if, you want to be in, if he wants to be in the test, then he'll bat where you want him to bat? Well, he, he will bat. Once, once we pick the squad, uh, then the captain always determines the batting order. Now, we've had many discussions with Shane um, and... I mean, he, he is one of, the, one of the basic points is he's always willing to play and bat where he's asked to bat. That's the main ingredient. Uh, did Shane have a hit in the Sydney Nets yesterday and how is he coming? I, I didn't see him have a hit, but he had a good running workout. So uh, Andy Bickle and I were there while he did his running drills and running and running between wickets, but he didn't bat on that occasion. He was due to bat today. Is he going to play shield cricket? This week? Uh, that, the, the honest answer to that is when we left it yesterday, it was uncertain, um, but he'll certainly play before the end of this month.